Well, hi there. My name's Abe Musavi. I'm the owner-operator of Musa Visual Media. I'm a professional photographer and cinematographer based out of the Washington, D.C. area. And welcome to my first vlog. Before we get started, I've got some very important business to take care of. Stay tuned. It's very nice. I think the obvious question here is, why the hell am I doing this in the first place? And to be honest, I don't really know. I've got a couple reasons why. One, I think I'll enjoy the challenge of making these videos and coming up with ideas for them. Part of me wants to do this so that I can feel a little bit more empathy for my clients. Um, I hate being on film. This feels very awkward to me. Another reason, I got into journaling during the pandemic. It's been a fun exercise to go back and read through uh, what I've written and where my head where my head was on those days and kind of relive those moments. So having it on video, I think, could be even better. I'm going to use these vlogs as a laboratory for experimenting with new techniques or new whatever in an environment that I can still publish it, um, but that maybe uh, the first time I'm working on the technique isn't with a client who's paying me for it um, and figuring it out when I'm on site. That's never that's never a good look. And lastly, I think I'm doing this just because I enjoy making videos. What to do, Abe? You're vlogging now. What does this all mean? What are we doing today anyway? Well, today your boy is headed to Norfolk, Virginia, to meet with a business partner about media strategy um, for a business that he's consulting for. He's asking me to come in and uh, do an evaluation of um, their website and their social media and all the other kind of media things and offer some suggestions as to what could be improved. So, uh, you guys pack like that too? Hmm? Here it is, a little less chaotic. And what all am I bringing with me? Let's start on the left. So here I've got my iPad Pro, the 2018 version I believe it is. Um, here's the case that came with the GoPro Hero 10 that I'm filming this on right now. With the uh, Sennheiser MKE 200 kind of grab bag of stuff. Got a bunch of batteries in there chargers, extra SD card, um, this magnetic clippy thingy that I'm looking forward to using, and uh, I love how GoPro gives us just a boatload of those clip mount things. This is actually the audio adapter, hold on, this is actually the audio adapter for this Fujifilm X100V that I will use to shoot stills on and maybe do a little video work. Here's a hog knife. It works. Yeah. Maybe I can do this without cutting myself. Great success. Moving on. So here we have the GoPro Hero 8 um, with the media mod and the screen doofer. I'm going to use this to shoot uh, like time lapses or time warps and B-roll and other things along the way. Battery charger, this chintzy tripod selfie stick thingy that GoPro gives. I'm going to give this a whirl too. So here is a solar powered battery pack and this thing actually works really well and lasts forever I've taken it a bunch of places and uh, it's something I got off Amazon I don't even know if it has a brand name but anyway here we are uh, so if I find an occasion to do an interview I've got the Rode Wireless Go I believe that is the first generation I've got a couple rechargeable lights here um, got my power strip with a USB-C to USB regular. Got the Joby FlexiPod, some batteries for the X100V, and I think that about does it. Woo. Before I get this thing all packed up, I wanted to spend a couple seconds talking about um, the bag I'm using today. This is the GoRuck GR2, and how do I know which one is mine? 
It's the one that says Bad Mother Rucker on it. I think the GR2 is the perfect uh, weekender, two-day, two-day trip bag, um, especially for us creative types. Please ignore all my dog hair. But the main compartment has plenty of room for all of this crap that I'm bringing with me, tech-wise. As you can see, the main compartment has zippered pockets and whatnot to help keep things separated and organized. The secondary compartment has more than enough room for the clothes that I need for the weekend. And for some reason, I'm sure other people do this too, but I try to fit everything into this little compartment right here. It's just great. I'm gonna get packed now. Wee. All right, y'all, now that I've got this whole thing packed up, just wanted to show you, um, I've got more than enough clothes for two days in that compartment there. And I've got all the tech stuff packed in there with plenty. There's there's room left to spare in this. So all in all, I'm happy with it. One of the things I forgot to mention earlier is that the uh, tripod and microphone all came as part of this kit that I bought on Amazon. Uh, I guess it's their MKE 200 mobile kit. I can read. I got to say this, man, like this little cell phone holder here, I'll probably never use it. But if I ever needed to, Sennheiser, this is like the beefiest friggin' cell phone holder I've ever seen. Shout out to the Germans for making this uh, super robust. Also, I really like the uh, Manfrotto tripod that it came with. I'm actually using it right now, so you can't show it. So I can't show it. How could you show it? You're just watching. And it came with uh, one TRS cable, another TRRS cable, if you need to plug it into your cell phone, the dead cat that goes over it in a little bag to hold everything in one succinct little case there. So shout out to Sennheiser and Amazon for getting this to me today. All right, y'all, it's about time for me to catch my train. Oh, by the way, I'm uh, taking a train today. I'll check in at the station. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get my space cadet dog. Get out from there. You're gonna miss me, aren't you? I'm gonna miss you, boo. I'm gonna miss you, I'm so sorry. I'll see you in a bit, okay? Uh, I thought it would be neat to collect some B-roll time lapse of the drive there with this uh, magnetic clip thingy that came with the uh, Hero 10 and uh, I just hope it doesn't fall off the Jeep. Stay tuned. So we are at the train station now, and right behind me, right there, is the George Washington Masonic Memorial. And I'm fairly convinced that if you want to find out who really killed Kennedy, that's where you go. Shout out to my Masonic friends. Woo! Why the train? I'll tell you why. One, the drive between DC and Virginia Beach is miserable. Two, I actually have work I need to get done. I've got, um, a couple scripts I need to write, and I have uh, some accounting, some other just business administrivia I need to do. My iPad Pro is a cellular, so I'll still be able to access data, at least where there's coverage along the rail line. Um, and, you know, taking the train down there is actually pretty relaxing. My goal when uh, the train arrives is to go immediately to the bar cart and then spread out with all my crap. So while I sit here bored, waiting on my train. Wanted to give y'all a uh, quick class on the proper pronunciation of Norfolk. Norfolk is acceptable, but please, 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 don't ever say Norfolk. <clears throat> I can't even. Don't say Nor, Norfolk. <clears throat> it's Norfolk. All right, so it appears as though our train will arrive shortly. Um, Hoping I can get a spot in the bar cart so I can spread out and uh, get to work. All right, I'm making my way to the bar cart. Let's see if I'm successful. Great success. We made it. I'm gonna get settled. So, 
I just asked one of the nice people that worked here which side of the train was more scenic. And, uh, he said this side, so I switched. I gotta tell you, I'm sitting here trying to bang out this script and I'm having a really hard time doing it because of all the cool shit that's happening outside the window. We are here in Fredericksburg. We're just getting moving, but I wanted to show you guys how cool of a town this was. Isn't that neat? <laughs> I had lunch with a buddy of mine in Fredericksburg about a month ago, and uh, it was a great time. I need to get back there. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. All right, so we just stopped in Petersburg. Um, unfortunately, we didn't stop in downtown Richmond. I was really hoping we were. After Petersburg, it's probably... Next stop, next final stop. Norfolk next. Norfolk next stop. Norfolk. 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 Norfolk.
bar cart. Um, here comes the train. Let me flip that around really quick. What's up, man? Fellow photog over there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm in a shot. <laughs> Oops. All right, get ready to board. Hoping to uh, catch the cafe cart. All right, we're still waiting. The train is nice and clean. Close? Oh. What time are you open, sir? Well, once we get moving, that's where the bar was there. Oh, okay, sorry. Oops. <laughs> um, I just tried to go into the bar cart, as you saw. I got, uh, I got kicked out. So I'm sitting here in the regular seats, waiting for, uh, waiting for the bar cart to open. And I gotta say, these seats are actually really comfortable. And this is, this is coach. They're I'm not a small dude, not by any means, and uh, I'm uh, I'm pretty comfortable. Yeah, I am. Yeah, doing a uh, doing a vlog. It's actually my first time doing this sort of thing. Feels awkward. <laughs> I like filming other people, you know. Well, howdy. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Clyde. Hi, Clyde. And I'm a, you know, I guess um, we just happen to be talking about filmmaking and. Um, Come to find out that you're a filmmaker, and I, you know, I teach playwrights and filmmakers in writing, and I shoot a little bit too. That's awesome. So I got to tell you what, uh, you know, you meet someone, and you share a couple cents or say a couple phrases, and you realize, uh, man, this dude really knows what he's talking about, and that's that's this fellow right here. Yeah, I don't know that much, but yeah. I've learned a little bit. Yeah, I got to tell you, I've been on this platform for about 15 minutes. Do you see the fellow shooting pictures down there? <laughs> Seeing him now, Clyde, there's creative folks everywhere. It was a pleasure meeting you and talking filmmaking. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Oh yeah, I'm sure it did, sir. Thank you so much. You've had a great career, and it's, it's been a pleasure. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking. With you. All right. So now that I've had a, a couple moments to sit down, get settled, taking some notes here on the old iPad the past couple of days events it's been a really uh, productive visit lots of good meetings feeling good about where this uh, might be headed plus it's just good to get back to the old hometown and uh, see how things are going uh, so for the rest of this trip I'm gonna focus on um, taking notes and collecting my thoughts and I've got a couple things a couple jobs I need to prep for next week um, so I'll do as much of that as I can as we're mobile and uh, I'll check in from time to time thanks Does that mean we have to like get out? Ladies and gentlemen, the station side will be Alexandria. Alexandria is a stop. Not all doors open. Exit only where you see a member of the crew. Station stop will be Alexandria. Guess this train ride is over. I still get to do this one more time though. Hey. All right, so ended the train ride. I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. I was able to get some work done, uh, catch up on some social media BS. Um, all in all, would recommend. So uh, to get from one side of the track to the other, you got to walk through this tunnel thing. All right, so I just made it back to the house, and this is by far my favorite part about coming home. Hello! How you doing, pretty lady? How you doing? Oh, ooh. hey. How you doing? Oh, did you miss me? Did you miss me? I missed you. Isn't she adorable? All right, 
Now I'm back. It's been a couple weeks. Uh, I've been a little busy. Um, in the time since I got back from Norfolk, I've shot an episode of uh, The Shoe Store, which is this office parody show that I do with a client of mine uh, here locally. I love shooting that show. I love producing it, and I love uh, putting it out the world. I'll link it somewhere in here. Another thing I did is I started shooting a documentary uh, with my friend Igor, uh, documenting his uh, immig immigration story to the United States, and I'm really excited to continue work and finish up that project. I've also done a couple uh, last-minute Christmas family family photo sessions, which are which are always fun. And you know, I've also spent time with my own friends and family. Life is, life is about balance, so I made sure I took some time to do that as well. But now that I've got some white space in my schedule, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog here and publish it finally. No, really. So as I've chopped up uh, the footage that you can see there behind me, I see that this vlog really, really does two things for the viewer. One, it documents the documenting, document, documenting. <laughs> It documents the Amtrak train ride from Alexandria, Virginia to Norfolk, Virginia, and it also serves as a way to um, document me using the GoPro Hero 10 as a vlogging camera. Some of y'all may have noticed that the image quality went up significantly from the first part of this vlog, and that's because I'm shooting what you're watching now on my FX3 and not this, because I can't talk about this and show it to you while I'm filming on it. It's science. So uh, here are some of my thoughts on uh, vlogging with um, the GoPro Hero 10. And first I'll say that vlogging really isn't my thing. I hope it I hope it becomes my thing, but it really isn't. So I'll talk about some of the things that um, my impressions as kind of a first time vlogger, but professional cinematographer at the same time. So the first thing I'll say I like, the pros are its size. This is very compact. Even with the uh, even with the Sennheiser MKE, will that get into focus? There we go. Even with the Sennheiser MKE 200 on it, and this Manfrotto tripod, this is all still pretty compact system. Doesn't make me feel any less awkward um, talking in public with it. It is a compact setup uh, nonetheless. So if size is your chief concern, <laughs> I should say if portability is your chief chief concern, then um, I think this is this camera and this setup is definitely the way to go. Another pro or another uh, another Benny or shout out I'll give to GoPro on this is the image quality with one huge caveat that I'll get to here in a second when I go over my cons. But uh, given the right conditions, I really like the way the images look straight out of the camera. Granted, I edited it a little bit. I threw a LUT on there. I, uh, you know, I put the letter boxes in there to make it seem more cinematic. Given the right conditions, this is this is actually a powerful little camera. Now let's talk about cons. The first con I want to discuss is battery life and battery management. I noticed, especially with the media mod and then having to power this microphone and everything, the battery went pretty quickly. And I even got one of those um, Enduro batteries that's supposed to last longer. Um, thankfully, a GoPro. Um, on the media mod has this uh, has this USB C jack in here, so you can charge it while you're using it. Um, but that means you have to have a battery pack hooked up to it, which adds size <laughs> to um, the vlogging setup. So it's just one thing to consider if you plan on doing an all day affair, um, like I was doing. It's it's best to have it hooked up to an external battery rather than lighting uh, using the the battery itself. Because to change the battery, you have to unscrew. You gotta unscrew it off this, you gotta take the GoPro out of the media mod, you gotta swipe out the battery. It's, it's just an all around pain in the ass. So better to get ahead of it by keeping it charged while you shoot. And the other con I'll bring up about the GoPro is low light. Now GoPro's never been known uh, as, a, uh, as a low light camera and I was expecting a little bit more. I set the ISO range from 100 to 800 ISO and even at 800 ISO, um, I'm sure you've noticed a couple times in the first part of the vlog, the image kind of uh, image gets really squirrely with less light. Which so, I went out and bought this thingy here, and as you can see, this little mammer jammer is actually pretty bright. Um, adds a, and that's not even at the high setting. That is at the high setting. Holy crap, that's bright. I don't even want to look at it because I won't be able to see. Uh, I won't be able to see anything else. What I'm hoping is even with this thing on there for the next vlog I do, having just that little bit of light right there should be enough to prevent um, any of the image issues 
that I had. And the other thing too is this is my that was my first time ever using this camera, so some of my issues could frankly be chalked up to user error. But either way, I'm going to vlog with this camera set up way more so that I can continue to use it, continue to get more uh, sets and reps. You know, I'm not going to let this camera kick my ass. <laughs> so now I'd like to talk about the train ride from Alexandria to Norfolk itself and share some of my thoughts on it. My first thought is that traveling by train is probably the perfect way for a creative professional to travel. Um, you have plenty of room. There is power outlets everywhere. There is a lot less stress to getting on and getting off the train than there is to getting on and getting off a plane, or let alone driving. The, the drive from the D.C. area to the Tidewater area of Virginia is, for the people who live in either place, is notoriously miserable. So taking the train is actually wonderful with some conditions. The first condition being that, well, trains are reliable within reason. I wouldn't recommend taking the train if you have a time constraint on either end of your journey. The train I took uh, to Norfolk left a few minutes late and actually arrived a few minutes early. You don't have nearly the same uh, margin of error that you do, uh, what you do with air travel. And you know the, the counter argument to that would be, if, well, if you drive, you're gonna get stuck in, tra inevitably, you're gonna get stuck in traffic at one point in between here and there. Um, so I just offer that up for, for your consideration. I loved taking the train down there so much that if I can, I'm going to take the train down there. I might do a vlog on taking an airplane down there just because those flights do exist and they're under a hundred bucks. But I'm curious to see if the ass pain of going through TSA and all the other airport crap, um, is worth the uh, the the is worth the time or do you save getting getting down there and back? And my hypothesis is is that it really isn't. All right, so now let's talk about the cons of the train ride. Um, the first con, and this is every pun intended, the first con is connectivity. Um, the Wi-Fi on the train absolutely sucks. Um, and cell coverage, while it was there, it is spotty in some of the more rural areas. So that's something to consider if you need connectivity for the duration of your trip, and I know it is for a lot of you. The second con I'll discuss is food and drink, if you buy it on the train, is super expensive. The flip side to that is, is you can bring pretty much whatever you want to on the train with you because there's no, there's no TSA. And the last con I'll bring up, and this applies to any train route, not necessarily the route between Alexandria and Norfolk, is that uh, arrival times vary, can vary, Pretty greatly. Um, so if you have a time crunch on either end of your of your journey, um, I don't recommend taking the train unless you plan in plan in that buffer time. So say you arrive the night before for a morning meeting and vice versa. Um, but don't don't try to squeeze things within an hour of your arrival time because who knows what's going to happen on those tracks or to the train or to whatever. That's just uh, food for thought for you. All right, so thanks for hanging out with me while I fumbled through this first vlog. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name's Abe Musavi with Musa Visual Media. Have cameras, we'll travel.